We've been discussing normal distributions, and today we're going to see a slight variant on that. This is the log normal distribution. And this is a distribution that in itself is not normally distributed, but the logarithm of this variable is normally distributed. So if we were to draw our variable, capital Y, it would not look normal, not normally shaped at least. It would have a skew to it, namely a right skew. However, if you take the values in your variable Y and take the natural log of them, I'll write ln of y, and then graph those. Over here, this distribution will have that classic bell shape if this variable really is log normally distributed. And when we're working with normal distributions, we like to discuss where the center is, right? And that would be the mean. However, this is not the mean of your variable. This is the mean of the natural log of your variable. Another one of our favorite things to discuss about normal distributions, the mean's best friend, how spread out is this bell-shaped curve. So the log normal distribution or a log normally distributed variable has two parameters. Kind of like how when we say a normal distribution we look at the mean, the standard deviation, those are the two parameters that apply to a regular normal distribution. We're going to look at two parameters that apply to the log normal distribution. These two parameters are the location and scale. That's what they're called. But let's put it into context to concepts that we are already familiar with. The location is the mean of the natural log of the variable. So we already know how to interpret location because that is just the center of this normal distribution. And it just so happens that this is coming from a right skew distribution, but we've logged it first in order to discuss the mean in some meaningful way. Zing! The scale then is the standard deviation of the log of the variable. So same ideas that we are already familiar with. A little throwback here. Recall the standard normal distribution. Z has mean 0 and standard deviation 1. Now, if a log normal distribution has the location as a 0 and a scale of 1, then we would call this not the standard normal, but the standard log normal distribution. Pretty cute, right? Now I want to show you uh, some images of a log normal distribution, but I'm going to use R to help me. So here we go with R. And I think I'll sort of explain what I'm going to do in R before I actually go do it, so we can kind of have some anticipation and it'll be fun. What I am about to do is I'm going to create a hundred random samples and 
I'm going to generate them from a log normal distribution such that the location is a 4 and a 2 for the scale. Just some nice numbers to work with here. And what I plan to do is create a histogram of this data. I guess I'll call it Y. I'll call this these 100 values. Just for ease, I'll call them Y. I'll take a hist of Y. And what we would expect to see, because they're from a, a log normal distribution, we should expect to see woo, a right skewed distribution. And then we will take the hist of the natural log of y. And remember in R, L-O-G is the natural log. So good review there. But when we do this, hist natural log of y, we should see a nice bell-shaped curve. And furthermore, what I would like to do is consider what number we would see right there. That would be the center of the logarithm. So that would be the of the data. So that would be the location value, which would be a four. So what we can also do is take the mean and we'll do standard deviation of the log of y sd log of y and we'll expect to get a 4 and a 2. And it probably won't be exact because we're going to create some random samples here or one random sample of a hundred values. That's a distinct difference. This is a hundred random values, but only one sample. Okay, let's go check this out in R. Maybe I can display this strategically. Okay, so I'm going to use y equals random. Now we saw r norm, but we want random values from a log normal. So that's rl. And we want a hundred of them just because that's nice with a location of four and a scale of two. Okay. And then we will take the hist of y and then we will do hist of the log of y. And then we'll do the mean and standard deviation of the log of y. Okay, I think that'll do it. Let's see some of this come to life now. Our variable y looks like it ran. And maybe, maybe we want to look at what these values look like. All right, we've got 177, 44.2, some 115s, just oh, 7,900 or so. Pretty cool. So maybe you can t see, oh, 13,800, that these are probably going to be skewed. Let's take a hist of y. And yes, indeed, it appears to be a pretty skewed distribution there. Skew to the right. Now, the hist of the log of y. Not so skewed. 
quite the opposite. It looks pretty bell-shaped, maybe not perfect. Oh, we've got another tool that we can look at. Couldn't we do the QQ norm of the LOG of Y and perhaps the QQ line? And we should see if the log of Y is normally distributed. We should see an approximate straight line. Pretty cool. There appears to be some deviation in the tails, and we can probably expect that by looking at that histogram again. It does look like these tails extend out a little further than you would expect from a really, really nice bell, but pretty dang close. And look, the center of this histogram appears to be roughly a four, doesn't it? Let's look at the mean and the SD of the LOG of Y. And yes, not exactly four, not exactly two, but approximately, and I, those, those are kind of far off, but that's the virtue of random sampling. Okay, well that was kind of fun. We'll keep this video short. Log, normal random variable.